So in this example, this one doesn't really have as obvious like left and right side, right? There's no inequalities on this one. So I think in this one, though, it's at least helpful to kind of have a general understanding of what exactly the graph looks like. You don't need to graph it, but just a general understanding. Hopefully you guys know that this is a least a um, parabola, right? And it is a parabola that's going to be opening upwards. And then this is really just being a point because it's only equal to one value. Remember, I think, what, sec first day instruction? Like we just dealt with like that one graph, or yes, second day instruction, I guess. We just dealt with that one graph that had a hole in it. Um, so we talked about a, we've already talked about a piecewise function that was, sim that was just like this. But so in this one, it's going to look something like this. And we know, though, at 3, there's this hole, right? Because we know it can equal 3. And then it's like 7 at that point. So it's going to look something like this. However, if you remember, we, we looked at graphs like this and tried to evaluate the limit, right? And all we really care about then is the value that it's approaching. We don't really care about what the value it's for, what it's equal to. We just care about the value that it's approaching. So in this one, in a problem like this, we don't have to deal with the left and right hand limits because we know whatever this value should be, even though it's a hole, whatever that value should be, that's the limit. That's what it's approaching. So all we need to do is find the limit of f of x is just e direct substitute into this equation. So we get 4. OK? Anybody have any questions? You guys want to try another one? Or you think you're good? I do have another one. <laughs>